Okay, so this fourth and final project that we'll work on together is, in my opinion, the coolest and most uh, was the most fun to work on. Uh, Marvel was kind enough to allow us to use their API in this tutorial series and uh, build a really cool example to help us all learn, uh, learn development, learn development against the Marvel API. So we'll show you how to uh, to create an account on their site and how to use their interactive documentation to learn how to make calls and get information back, how to retrieve their images and uh, and work with them as well. So we're building an application that I call the Hero Explorer and it allows you to first of all just get a random collection of, of of characters from their database of I think over 1500 characters and so we're just gonna like select one of the characters by clicking in a master list on the left hand side to view the details about that character on the right hand side so let me find not all characters have all information but typically characters will have a name and a description below them uh, a large image and then also uh, the comic books that they've been in recently and then clicking on one of those will show you the name of the comic and um, or actually the title and then the description of that particular issue and so there's a bunch of stuff that we're gonna learn by going through this example uh, first of all we're gonna learn how to call a public way uh, public API a web API interpret the documentation uh, create classes based on uh, JSON examples in the documentation uh, then deserialize live data that we request uh, into those classes uh, we're gonna learn this master detail uh, kinda user design experience uh, pattern and we're also gonna learn how to create and utilize some of the adaptive layout uh, stuff that we learned how to do v earlier in this series of lessons. Uh, we're going to do a ton of data binding and working through real world issues that you're going to probably experience when building a similar style application. You'll notice that over here I'm using an, uh, an ellipse and a special brush, not a solid color brush, not a gradient brush, but an image brush as the fill for that ellipse. Uh, we're going to call special APIs that require a uh, some form of security. So in the case of the Marvel API, we're going to learn how to uh, create a hash using our public API key and a private API key and then some timestamp value to ensure that, well, to authenticate the request first of all, and then also ensure that nobody's tampered with the request uh, as they inspect it. it from the from the client to the server and so we're gonna learn how to employ special cryptography classes in the um, universal windows platform and then finally we're gonna integrate our application with Cortana and tell Cortana say hey Cortana um, refresh the characters in our application and we'll see it work and uh, and learn a little bit more about how easy it is to integrate Cortana. Okay, so uh, it, this was so much fun, so exciting to work on. I hope you enjoy this. We'll get started in the next lesson. See you there. Thanks.